Good morning everyone, I've just arrived at my permission. Um, just been out ringing the bells, I've told the lads to carry on. Um, I've always loved ringing the bells. So let's hit the fields and I'll join you on the first hole. Alright folks, we've just come across our first target. Um, well, say for a second, the first one with a rusty old spanner. So <laughs> obviously I didn't film that. just here 12 13 it's got a bit of an iron buzz to it but we'll, we'll see oh it's not very looking very good now Yeah, I think think it could be iron. We'll have a look. Oh god, I don't want to kneel down today. There's that much dew on the ground. I'll dig it out just in case there's iron underneath something. Yeah, I, I didn't realise how cold it was going to be today. I think yesterday when I set off, it was really mild, 11 degrees, but. Oh, today I had to scrape the window. Oh, it's out, whatever it is. Ah, oh. piece of gold foil. All right, folks, we've got a really nice clear target here. Coming 29.30. I'm not sure what them numbers are. Um, could it be a big copper? I don't know. <laughs> 31, 32, still in the hole. Could it be iron tricking me? Let's find out. Just over in that direction a bit. Try not to film as many targets today. I'll um, I want to try and dig as many holes as I can. And of course, when I'm filming, it slows me down a little bit, so I will to um, utilise my time as best as I can by not digging junk like this. <laughs> what we got? Bloody hell, that is deep for just an old bottle top. Makes me wonder whether the uh, medieval coins are too deep because I know this hasn't been ploughed for ages. Whether it's been ploughed at all. Never mind. No wonder it give a good signal. Just found this part of a buckle. Um, not entirely sure of the age. It's a bit fragile. It's got a bit of gilding on it. But, yeah. Not a bad find. Stick it in my pouch. Pouch of Rooney. Oh, it ain't off bloody fresh. I tell the got a cracking signal there. 26, 27. Let's do a light dig on it, see what we've got. Still in the hole, let's have a look. Oh, it's in here, whatever it is. Shut up. Oh, we've got a coin. See the edge there? 
<laughs> to two pence. <laughs> uh, at least it's a start. Onwards and upwards. Is it as old as me? Can't make the date out, it's that dirty. <laughs> On to the next. Got a bit of an iffy one here. We'll just point. Just check there's no iron. So I'm gonna dig it out, see what we've got. I'll bring you back. Still a bit jumpy now, I've got the plug out. It's all over the shop. Um, let's just check it while it's out. Oh, what's that? Something big. Uh, it's one of them. Hedge fodder. Got another decent target. Let's do a live one on this one. See if we can unearth the gold. I should have put my fishing boots on rather than these wellies. I feel a cold, cold ground. A bit jumpy on the old Richter scale. Ah oh dear, it's never butchers. We're not far off wherever it is. Oh, can you see that circle in the side? I think it could be a, um, I don't know, I thought it might have been a shotgun cartridge, but it is a ship half penny. We're in the money, we're in the money. I says today I'm uh, going to beat my record for coins which I think might be 20 odd. I've got two and a half so far, because I don't know if that one was actually a coin, but yeah, let's crack on. Oh, I cracked myself then, it said format SD card, error, oh. Thought I'd lost all my footage of finding my foil. Um, I just dug this one up. Not entirely sure what it is. Look, definitely looks like something. Um, till I get it home and clean it, I won't know. But yeah, that is definitely. It's not just your average piece of tat. It's got. Looks like it's had some kind of purpose. Keep trying to carry on, but keep getting these banging signals now. What I'm not not complaining about, but this one here. Solid 24, no messing. It's just in the plug. We're on the coins again. We are on a one penny, but a modern one. Can't be find a bit spendable. Just had, just had this one. Um, don't know if it's a coin or not. Looks it. I thought it was a fifty p for a minute, but um, yeah, whatever it has, he's got a hole blasted through it. So, yeah, on to the next one. Right, guys, um, I said I was going to do it, and I've only blooming going to done it. See these roots here? 
right down there. I've dug out a target coming in at 14. Here's the imprint. Just barely make it out. And here's the culprit. I can't believe it. Hammered! Yes, get in there. It's pretty battered and warm, but I couldn't care less. Oh, it's been so long, I think. <laughs> September was the last time I found one. Something like that. August, September. Hammered! Get in there. Right, let's give it a close up on my phone. Oh, I can't believe it. Buzzing. Here she is. Like I say, I couldn't care less if it was battered as anything. I've found one after all this time. Get in there. Just make out a date on there across the top. 1582, I think it says something like that. Get in there. Oh, it's made it all worthwhile now. I'm buzzing. I found that hammered coin about 10 metres away and um, this one's coming in at 14.15 now. Imagine if it was another one, I'd be absolutely over the moon. Solid 15. Oh, we've got a coin ball, I think. Is it this? No. Oh, I can see a coin there, though. That is absolute madness. What have we got here? Jeez, looks old. Oh, is it a high burn? It's a high burny and... Um... Oh, that looks good. Let me get me a camera phone for that one. Really nice coin. It's a bit battered, but... Looks an old George, George the, I'm useless at now, Roman numerals. Can't be here. Uh, but, um, oh, there's a date there. Seven, 1749 it looks like. See on the bottom, one seven one side, four nine the other. It's, uh, I think it's called a Hibernian or Harp Penny. Could be wrong, but yeah, that's not bad. I don't mind finding stuff like this all day. Let's carry on here. Just come across this one. It's really hard digging against this tree line with the roots. Solid 22. <sighs> Big piece of lead. Let's open it up, see if there's anything inside, or any anything on the outside. No. Sometimes if you get a piece of lead like this you can find coins inside. Oh, oh I thought that was a coin then, you wally. Just a bit of dirt. Oh, I thought that was. <gasps> I'm getting all giddy and excited now that I've found that hammered coin. And that other one after the 1749. I love the older the better. Have a bit of experience then, don't I? Just trying to get a lot of these digs on film now because I don't know, I've just got a good feeling. This one's 1718. Just using the pinpointer here because I'm gonna try and get it bang on because we're in all these bloody roots. I don't want to be digging anywhere, I don't need to be. Just 
Jesus, Kobe can get a spade in the ground. She's an 18, 19 now. On the ID. Just down the side of that route. Oh, it's a good job it wasn't so good. I would have butchered it. <laughs> but got a nice sand in 16 here. 16, 17. here now still in the hole oh god just a bit deeper for this one I think <sighs> should be a man now he says it's a man now it gonna be <gasps> I see a coin what have we got here then looks like a penny of some sort I'll just get a little clean on my trousers let's get in the sun looks like a Victoria Yeah, Victoria. Victoria half penny. Oops. Eighteen seventy seven. Beautiful in the um, sun there. Clock on another coin here. Um, just took out the owl. There we go. That's better in the sun. I haven't took it apart yet. Okay, there's the imprint. That one is 1872. Yeah, 1872. Give it a little rubber rooney. That's a bit plain on the bus side. Just about to see Victoria, it's worn away. It's not much better that side, but you can just make out the date at the bottom. 1872 buzzing right folks I'm a little bit excited here but I don't want to get disheartened if um, it's not what I think it is well I don't, I'm not quite sure what it is can you see the glisten in there I can see something silvery coloured with some markings on I'm going to take it out the hole now. I don't know. I haven't got a clue what it is. Oh my God! <gasps> Jesus! No way! Is that a gold ring? Oh my! <sighs> oh my God! Oh my Jesus! <laughs> I'm lost for words. No way, that is absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> G 
Jesus wept. Oh, my days. Oh, I'm shaking. Oh my God. Look how beautiful that is. It's got some um, RW. Yeah, I'll get my phone out. Jesus. Here's my gold ring. Absolutely stunning detailing. And it's got writing on the inside. Um, I'm shaking. RW something. <laughs> I can't fucking hold it. But yeah, there you go. Getting. An absolutely Boston signal here. Um, that that gold ring, if anyone's interested, I think it came in at an 18. It's almost 22, 23 that I'm digging now. Oh, I can't. I still can't believe it. Oh. Absolutely buzzing. It's already a good day finding the hammered and then I go and do that. It's a piece of machinery, I think. I thought it was like a massive cartwheel penny or something. Right, folks, here's another core find. Um, I'm not doing live digs anymore because I want to try and dig as many targets as I can now. Um, I'll just show you, show you the good stuff. Um, yeah, might have been a trade weight or something like that. Massive piece of lead. Bit of a strange one. Definitely had some purpose. And if there's a hole in it now. Yeah, strange one. Right, here's all my finds. I haven't even had a chance to clean them yet. Um I think that's a bullet looking at it. Or it might be a suppository. <laughs> um yeah, I think it's a bullet, but I've not seen. It might be like a lead one, it just needs cleaning. I didn't know if this looks like a bit of a watch winder or some, I don't know, I've never seen, could just be a bit of tat, that's like a rust, rusty old lid off something, um, I think that's, that one was a penny that somebody's butchered, mm, see, see the writing on the edge there? So yeah, that's them. Here's my hammered coin. As you can see, it's well worn. Um, it's just a bit of lead, I think. You don't know until you wash them. I just haven't had time. Just got in from work. Oh. Thought that had a bit of detail around the outside then. One penny. That's it, eighteen seventy seven penny. Uh, Victoria. It's another Victorian penny. 
1872. I love finding the old pennies. That one's just a modern 2p. You can see the difference there. Look at that. That's eight. That's over 150 years old. And then you got a 2p, and look at the condition that's in. They don't make them like they used to. Um, that was one of my nice coins, um, George II. It's a bit battered, but it's nice to get 1749. Um, that's George, the God knows what, 1944. That was just a blank disc, I think. Um, and here's the, here's the uh, special one. If you, I've reported it to the um, to the flow now, and I've got to fill in a treasure form. But if you look at that there, see the skull. The um, my mate at work, Kevin, he told me that it's a. Uh, I forgot what he said. Now it's um. Oh, Oh, he'll, he'll, he'll give me right tell enough tomorrow and, and more um, I'll put it in the comments if I remember it, I know it's a morning ring it's um, oh, I'll I'll remember later but yeah it's absolutely stunning and, um, I've got a fill in the treasury port and um, yeah they'll probably end up taking it off me and I'll never see it again but it's just been amazing digging it out of the ground. I have to excuse my nails. Uh, they're quite short compared to most blokes, but I'd like to give them a trim. I've been at work, I've got to have a bath. I have one every Monday. And just have a stand-up wash the rest of the week. Have to be careful of the water. So yeah, there we go. Thank you for joining me. Make sure you like and subscribe. I've booked next week off work, so I'm going to go every day and give it a good old hammering and hopefully find some more treasures like this. Catch you soon, everyone. Take care. Love you all. Bye.